on, but I was talking about like, like I can't stay cooped up. I'm sorry for your downfalls. They help you cope with your losses. Cause when the I wanna, I wanna ask you, how do you like, how do you start like in this? Or who got you into it? Like everything is, you know, it's mostly me. I make a decision to do it now. I, mean, I was like 14, whatever. I, I can't really pinpoint to the like, I can't pinpoint to like little forks in the road that like played a big role, you know, and whether or not I was gonna, you know, actually be doing this or not. Like, you know how you look back in the moment, you're like, if that didn't happen, this wouldn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Like little forks in the road, like little things that happen. But like, man, I would go back to like, I'm trying to see the farthest I can go back. I was the farthest I could go back as far as like actually getting into music without me actually making it, but like me getting into it was like back when like it, it goes real far. But I would say one defining moment was when um, my mom she bought me this little CD. Like you know how every hood like has like a movie man or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. and, like she got uh, this this little uh, CD with a lot of videos on it, like from Common, Kanye West, um, okay. just a lot of music videos. You know what I'm saying? BT video, but it was on the so DVD, a DVD. You can watch the videos. And I remember she got like, that. like those bootlegs that people sell on the street and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. But it had like BT, oh, okay. you know, videos. Mm -hmm. And she gave me that, and I used to watch that a lot. Then, like I just, I just like writing. You know what I'm saying? And that was like, I think it came from kind of loneliness too. Say that all your songs pretty much come from the heart. I mean, if, way. I, I would hope so. I would, I would like to think that, yeah. I, I don't know where else they come from. Because like, I don't try to be anything. Like, I don't try to be anything. I'm not. I just do it. If it's perceived however it's perceived in the, in the world, then it's how it's perceived. Whether people think it comes from the heart, whether people think, you know, it's all fake. If that's what you, you want to think, I mean, I can't change anybody. But I know for me, it's just, just it, I put it out there and it is. It is what it is. What do you want to show people? I mean, I mean, everything is a message. I mean, every rapper who's ever rapped, I think, had a message. But you know what the thing is? Is it a good message or not? Like, is it a message worthwhile for people to hear? Or is it just like, it's like, it's just like mailing a letter. Like, I can mail a letter with random words. It's a letter. It's a message. But is it saying, actually saying something? You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I try to relay a message. Because when the car man effect. Are there other artists that are in the city that you feel that you could work with pretty pretty well or that you have worked with pretty well? Um, in the city or just at, at all, abroad, because I work with artists abroad as well. So, I mean, oh, both from Chicago and uh, out of Chicago. Well, recently, I got a, I got a, my latest song, um, it's a Half My Life. It's a remix to a song by the title Half My Life. You know, it's uh, an artist named Abstract on it. He's from like, I think, Wyoming or something like that. He's a great artist. Real dope, real dope fan man. So, yeah. 18. And then it's an uh, artist who's on that song called Blackout Garrison. I think he's from Minnesota, if I'm correct. And there was an artist on there called Alan Cass, and he's from San Francisco, I think. So, so how yeah. do you how do you how do you get to to, to uh, collaborate with them? Well, man, just building, them? just building like a little friendship, like just building a friendship, oh, okay. building a networking, and just like over time, like for the most part. You know, it is about networking to an extent. Like all the artists I had on the Half My Life remix, I knew like for a while. You know what I'm saying, or oh, I just respected like Blackout Garrison. You know, I found I found out about him through Abstract, so I didn't know him for a long time. But like, you know what I'm saying, we clicked. You know, I found him in Abstract. I did a song, so I found him through there. And then Alan Cass, the way we met was that he actually had a project called The Closest Summer, and I actually, you know, my debut project was called The Closest Summer. So that's how me and him met. Yeah, and then yeah, that, that's out of Chicago. Now, it is a lot, a, couple, a lot of rappers I want to work with in Chicago. I haven't worked with that many. Like, Chicago. like, you mean, what's the uh, one of the rappers that you that you really would like to work with? Um, Chance, 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 Chance. Yeah, I saw the the picture on your on your Facebook with, with Chance. Where where was that at? That was at uh, it was on this, it was at the library on the south side. That's a crazy story because what happened was um, 
I think I couldn't make it, so it was an event he was having, I think. I couldn't make it there. I couldn't make it there. It was something like that. I couldn't make it there. And then I got, as a matter of fact, Abstract comes back in here. I couldn't make it there. Then Abstract sent me this, like, sent me this, like, uh, I think it was abstract. I think it was abstract. He tagged me in like this thing that he was having an open mic in Chicago or something. And I went there and I still wasn't able to perform. Mm -hmm. But uh, but I performed at the library that he was, you know, uh, at on the day that I took that picture and he saw and, you know and he saw me perform or whatever. And then like he we, saw you perform. Yeah, he saw me. I, I performed a little. I think I performed a little piece or whatever. And then he saw it. You know, he was filling in or whatever. And then you know we got that picture. But yeah, that, that was a dope experience right there. You know? I'm from the place where they do you foul with the tech. All you can do is sprint and hope you remain mobile like sprint. Trying to play the game, not gonna win. With, uh, uh, so the funny story of chance, like I worked with a dude named Mike Hero. He played, he played a big role in like everything that I've been doing. You know, that's a long story. This is like a story. Basically, if you were to ask me like how everything started to come about of actually me releasing music, Mike Hero will come into this. But, but um, but that's off topic. Mike Hero, you said? Yeah, Mike Hero. He, he's the dude. Like, it's a long story. I'll, I'll let you know. But finish the story. Um, Mike Hero, I think he, he was working with Chance at the school or whatever. He, uh, he was at a school and he saw Chance there. And uh, I think Chance asked him, like, what other upcoming Chicago artists you're working with? And Mike Hero, he mentioned my name, like, didn't even need it. Then Chance oh, was, he then, did? And then, yeah, and then Chance was like, oh, I think I heard of him before. And then when Mike told me over the phone, I went crazy. I was like, ah, you remember my name? Holy <laughs> so, yeah, shit, man. That is. Yeah, that that is... that's dope as fuck. So, yeah. I was, I was like, I was feeling myself for a few weeks about that. I was like, man, he remembered my name. Like, the rappers blind, but they blind like a window. Two nights and something to show for it. Ain't talking Jay Leno. But ain't talking Jay Leno. They all talk no show, but I let it go with my pencil. So let it go with my pencil. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was there. Uh, I can't stay like cooped up and like why I stay otherwise. Like I got to think of the bigger picture. Like, yeah, it's unsafe. It's gonna be unsafe in a lot of places you be. Like, I can't stay cooped up and not like go out there and try to do the things to accomplish what I want to accomplish. You get what I'm saying? Like such a going, even such a simple as going to the library, like I still like, like you see this area, like I still have to get my way to the train, you know, you know what I'm saying? I still have to break out of this area, I have to walk through this area to get to where, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I try to think of the bigger picture, like I don't want to be here all my life, so it's like, I got to make the sacrifice. Nobody Like, what is it that you want to accomplish as, a, as, a, as an artist? What is the farthest that you're willing to go for it? Or, or, you know? I'm willing to go as far as I can, but when it comes to like saying big, it's like, I feel like success, like, when people say they made it, like, that's all, that's all um, relative. It's like, from your perspective, like, like, some people are big, like, it may be an artist you never heard of, but in their eyes, they've made it, you know what I'm saying? I don't think famous is like, everybody in the world knows you, because it's like, not everybody, like, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? There's big artists out there, but not everybody listens to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to get to the point where I'm happy at what I've done. You know what I'm saying? They say I'm crazy because I say the first thing that come to my singulet. Cortex, yeah, she's single, but she's sucking like a vortex. Some women got no respect for me. You want to know what I have to do. I want to get to the point where, like, my music is my life. Like, I want to get to the point where I'm making so much music, like, in my life where it's like, when I'm done, when I'm going off to the earth, like, all my music, if you just put my music in like a catalog and you want us to know my life, like basically that all you have to do is listen to like how many ever songs, 500,000, you know what I'm saying, how many songs I got out, like all you have to do is listen to that mm -hmm. and you basically have, you know, uh, for the lack of better words, listen to my life, you get what I'm saying? Right. In a couple weeks still I'll be praying, with a group of love when I'll stand and hold their hands. Sad but it's true, it's what Shirek do. I'm praying. I'm not even done with whatever I've done, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's corny to me. Like, I just, when so, it comes, it comes, to be honest. So, yeah, yeah, But yeah. I do, I've been working on a lot of sun. I'm not going to say, like, I ain't been working, but, like, I don't know what it's going to lead to. Oh, so, so very, you're, you're pretty much, you don't, you don't worry yeah, about cause that. Yeah, because my mind is too, like, I think too much, and I, like, I change too much. Like, I'm, like I could be flip floppy with my work in general. Like, I'll have an idea and be like, yeah, that's the, like, that's it. And then the next day, I'm like, oh, no, but this is an even better idea, so. I, I try not to, I try to stray away from like putting some like setting it in stone because I know my mind just like yeah you, you might change your, your yeah thought. like if I was to say a project right now it'd probably be changed in like to probably the next hour so yeah, <laughs> yeah. Gonna say
But all I gotta say is just work hard, focus. Don't let the distractions distract you. Just focus on your on your your grind, man. You're doing really good, bro. Thanks, man. Just keep, you, keep man. doing this shit. Um, but yeah, um, anything that you would like to say to to you know. Uh. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a very talkative person. <laughs> yeah, I see, I see. I know, but um, right. Well, we're gonna come. What's up, man? <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Say something on camera, man. Uh, we're doing uh, a little. It's on. It's on. They're, they're both. We're doing a little interview for uh, Daniel for you know his music and stuff. Oh, for you? Yeah. I'm trying to tell me to suspect that. But you see, you don't look at it.